Hi, I'm Adam. I'm a senior director of account management. I lead our consumer services vertical at Rise, and I'm here today with my fellow riser, Kirsten. Hi, I'm Kirsten, director of paid search at Rise. Adam and I work with many of Rise's lead gen clients across channels and industries, and we're here to share our three predictions for 2024. Check out the rest of this series for predictions from other industries, Rise partners, and even our CEO. Our first prediction is differentiating from competitors within automation will require a whole new approach. Adoption of automation to drive performance has become less of a differentiator and more of an industry standard. With that in mind, our challenge is to find new ways to create strategies for our clients that use cutting edge solutions to differentiate and create a competitive advantage. So how do we do that? By leveraging first party data signals to optimize throughout the user journey and using those offline data signals to fuel our automation strategies. While that might sound simple, there's actually quite a bit that goes into it. We're creating a bunch of value-based models for a number of different clients, but there's one example that both Adam and I are really excited about. It's especially interesting because we're taking the value-based modeling approach one step further and layering on more predictive modeling. So instead of just feeding the algorithms a dollar value for every step in the conversion cycle, we're really trying to predict the lifetime value of a customer. And we're doing this by taking into account all of the different signals the client collects during the sell cycle. This particular client is in the education industry, so think signals like the school they're attending or the degree program that they're enrolling in. These types of signals really help to better inform the model. And like Adam said, using this type of modeling will be imperative to the future, future success of automation and can help differentiate clients from their competitors by being able to pinpoint exactly what value each customer brings and thus exactly the type of customer they want to target most aggressively. And that is our first prediction. So our second prediction builds on the first prediction to stress the importance of having a proper measurement framework inform our automated strategies. With the introduction of new privacy protocols across a number of our digital media platforms, the old ways of using third-party cookies to create attribution models has become less and less viable of a measurement solution. It's now incumbent on brands and their partners to use their own data to develop and craft a measurement framework tailored specifically to their business. Why does this matter? In order to measure the impact of our mid and upper funnel media on the bottom of the funnel, brands need to have a measurement framework that ties back user interactions to the tactics and channels driving the highest impact. Will it be hard to accomplish this? Not with the right partner. Rise and our partners at Quad have developed proprietary methods for building these models to address numerous business questions and drive media mix optimizations across channels, both online and offline. And then last but not least, our third prediction for consumer services brands is unsurprisingly focused around AI. AI will need to continue to be a larger part of your team's processes in so many different ways. Specifically, Rise is focusing on ways to integrate AI more seamlessly into compliance and compliance reviews to ensure that we can continue to innovate for our clients and utilize AI, but in a way that's brand safe and brand forward. For example, AI is able to create content such as text assets and visual assets quickly and efficiently, but these then have to be reviewed by multiple teams and stakeholders before they can ever get in front of consumers. There's a need to make that process more seamless. And like I said, the integration of AI into already established processes will definitely need to be a bigger focus through 2024. Thanks for listening, everyone.